Right. And I, I think we have to look at the way this war started. Uh, what was the path to the war? Because if we're serious about talking about a path to peace, and of course, I think the people in Europe, of course, the people in Ukraine, first and foremost, and probably most people in Russia want to find a path to peace. Uh, economic sanctions will punish Russia. Will it stop Russia? No. Uh, how did we get here? Uh, NATO expansion in 1999, 2004, 2009, and again in 2020, and the, the decision by Anthony Blinken and Jake Sullivan and the Biden administration to absolutely refuse to negotiate when Russia was saying, look, we have red lines, we demand that Ukraine be neutral. And the U.S. said back to Russia, look, you don't tell us uh, who can come into NATO and you don't tell Ukraine whether they can join NATO or not. Your demands are non-starters. So now we have sending more weapons to Ukraine, more economic sanctions on Russia, which is going to make life much harder for the people uh, all over the, the Eurasian landmass. And that's not the path to peace. That's not going to stop the war. If you want to stop the war, you have to go back to the negotiating table, thinking that you're going to punish Russia by these sanctions such that Russia will come back and, mm -hmm. and do something like allow uh, NATO to expand right, right up to its border. That's a fantasy. Mm -hmm. And I'm really sad that, the, that people who are talking about this as if the people in Europe and Ukraine are just pawns in some big geostrategic chessboard don't realize that the urgent need is real peace, and the only way to get to real peace is to have real negotiations.